In this example, we're going to sort some of the data. So to do that, we can click on the, the data tab and you notice here it's got the, the sort function. And there's also a, a quick sort for smallest to largest and largest to smallest. And we'll come back to that at the end of the demonstration. So to sort the data, we select all the data that we have available and we press, press on sort. We can see here that my data has headers in the top row and we can use that to sort the data. So we make sure that that's clicked. And once we click on the pull down menu or the drop down menu, we can see that the variable names appear for us to use quite easily. And so what we can click on here is starting salary and we can either sort it from smallest to largest or from largest to smallest. And so let's sort the data on starting salary from smallest to largest, press OK. And we can notice that as we scroll through the data, the starting salary increases from smallest all the way to the largest. Let's suppose that we also want to instead sort the data by two variables at the same time. And let's press on sort again. And this time let's delete that original sort that we had available and start afresh. So we can add a level to sort by, click on sector this time. So we're going to sort from the various sectors that we have available in the data. And we're also then going to select uh, salaries to sort by starting salary so now we're going to sort the data first on sector and then within within each sector we're going to sort by starting salary so let's press ok and see what happens so you can see now the data as we scroll through it is sorted all the way by sector sector 1, sector 2, sector 3 and we can see that within each sector the starting salaries are also increasing. So within sector one, we make it all the way to the top salary of 77,000. And then we get into sector two and we can see the data starts at 34,600 as a starting salary. And we keep going, keep going, keep going. And we eventually get to the top salary within sector two, which was $82,000. And we can see then starting with starting uh, in sector three, the, the starting salary. So that's a, a way of sorting the data by two or more variables at the same time. And you can see you can also sort the data. One variable you might small, sort from smallest to largest, and the other you might sort from largest to smallest. And you can keep adding levels and adding levels as much as you want. Now, as I mentioned at the start, we've also got these quick ways of sorting. So let's say we want to sort by observation. So let's do that. We select the data and press smallest to largest and we can see the data is back in its original form from observation 1 down to about 300. But let's say we want to sort by starting salary. Well let's do that. We select starting salary, press on the quick sort but what's happened is that we have to be very careful in using this button because we've sorted the data over here on the right hand side but the data hasn't been sorted on the left hand side. So there's now going to be a huge disconnect between observation one and where its original salary went and so that can create a lot of confusion for analysis and we need to be uh, very cautious of using a button like this so my recommendation is to stick with this data sort button